Jacoby. Yeah, but I should go to Peter to the day. I follow Dinjano, I am class from my Jano. So I pray I should not grow again. Da, just in the chai. Amen. I will tell you what you're expected to write in here. I mean, not word for word, but what information you need. So don't be writing other things. Don't be pulling out pages. Keep it nicely. Because this will be, you will turn the whole thing into me at the end of the semester. And it will be your book for a long time. So if you take good care of it, it might live as long as you do. But if you get it wet and let the rat pee on it, then it will die in a year. So, one for each of you. Thank you. You can trade if you want to. I want a blue one. Can we see the other side? 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 <laughs> Perfect. Rina had nothing there. <laughs> Yet you can write your name and you can write your you can write our class name on it too. Here is the official class name. Um, Roll number kid. Be well. Roll number be well. Class with the second year. Roll number be well. Institute. Institute with the be well. Bangladesh English Training Wellness Center. Institute. Roll number be well. I'll show black banner. I mean, should the number now? Our class or now? Section. Section with the treatment class. Section. section my if we had two natural remedies classes oh. and so one was like morning one was night and some of you were in one some of the other there'd be class section one and section two there's only one though so it's just section one class key do second year first semester subject subject so <laughs> Okay, um, let's not spend too much time on this right now. Um, we will not, I'm not ready to have you write in these books. Probably by the end of today, we will get to some of the information you can start writing. So keep taking notes in your other notebook. <laughs> Do you remember what we were talking about at the end of class on Thursday? <laughs> talking about something called the placebo effect. Placebo effect. Let me tell you about a little, kind of a little story. Um, 
there was a man who lived a long time ago. I don't know. I think he was a doctor or something, or I don't maybe some medical guy. And he made these special sticks. It was out of metal. And do you guys know how electricity moves? Like the electricity wires, they're made out of wire inside. So electricity can move through wire. It can move through water. But does it move through wood? No. So this guy made metal rods. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> okay, so these rods were supposed to cure people of sickness. If you would touch the people, if you would touch the rod to the person, then supposedly it was electricity making the person sick. And then the electricity would go out through the rod. And the person would get better. Do you think that was true? Do you think that was true? Huh? It's kind of strange, right? No. It's not true. But the, the guy thought it was true. And he convinced many people that it was true. And many, he sold so many of them. And people would get better. And then another guy was thinking about it. He thought, huh, I'm going to test this idea. So he made wooden sticks. But he made them very shiny and nice and painted them. So that they would look just like the metal sticks. So that when he sold them, people thought they were getting the metal sticks. Actually, I don't think he sold them. But he used them in his experiment. Do you understand what he did? So he made it look just like the metal one, but it was not metal. So if it was really electricity that made the people sick, then touching the person would do no good. People thought very strange things back then. You should read that they thought that if people had their hair moving in a certain direction that they were witches. And they killed them. Like, they had weird ideas. But it was this, what they thought back then. So, they, so this guy's like, ha, I'm going to see. So he treated some people with the, the real metal stick and he treated some people with the, the wood one that looked like the real thing 
আর কিছু মানুষকে ওই নকল কাঠের তৈরি লাঠিটা দিয়া সুস্থ করছে মানে মানে চিকিৎসা করছে আর তোমার কি মনে হয় সে কি পাইছে কাঠেরটাও <laughs> In fact, it wasn't really the sticks at all. আর আসল বিষয় হচ্ছে ওই লাঠির কোন মানে লাঠির কোন লাঠির কোন কার্যই ছিল না ওদের সুস্থতার পিছনে. What he was seen was the placebo effect. ওটা হচ্ছে প্লাসিবো এফেক্ট দেখতেছিল তারা. Which is that the people thought, "Oh, this is going to make me better." যেটা হচ্ছে সে মানুষরা ভাবে যে ও এটা আমাকে সুস্থ করবে. And when you think that you're going to get better, আর যখন তুমি চিন্তা করো যে তুমি সুস্থ হবে, that has a lot of power seta tomar upore onek shokti ache it doesn't always make people better shobshomoy kore na but it always helps kintu shobshomoy shahajjo kore does that make sense bujhte parche so it was not the sticks eta hocche oi lathi na they did nothing oi lathi kichu kore na except they gave people hope oi oi lathi ta manushke asha dise they thought oh ha now i'll get better or bolche o acche thik ache amra kon shusto hobo and the positive thinking ekhon je oi je কতবারের ক্লাসের সাথে মিলায় বলছে Yeah, so this is the placebo effect. It has a placebo effect. Why is this important to us? Why is this important to us? Um, natural remedies have real power. Prakritik Oshudir on a shokti atsin. They, um, they're not just fake things that we do to people. They don't just go to knuckle dinish na jamra manusha kutu kore thak. And yet part of the power in all treatments ebong kichu kichu khomota sob treatment er i ache is the hope that you give people oi khomota hocche je asha ta tumi manushke dao that's why the spiritual part is also important one of the reasons the spiritual part is important ei jonno dharmikota badhadik bishoyo khubi guruttopurno ei karone if people can trust that god is helping them ar jodi manush চিন্তা করে যে বা বিশ্বাস করে যে ঈশ্বর তাদেরকে সাহায্য করছে um then even a very simple thing can do lots of good তাহলে একটা সাধারণ জিনিসও খুব অনেক ভালো কাজ করতে পারে does that make sense এটা বুঝতে পারছিস and so the attitude that we have in treating people এই যে আমরা মানুষকে মানে আমরা মানুষকে কি যেভাবে চিকিৎসা দেই আমাদের attitude of us yeah আমাদের যে যে মনোভাব that can affect the attitude of the patient so it's cheta amader rogi rogir boro bhabkeo probhab probhabito korte pare so let me give you an example tomader ke ekta udharon dei maybe it's my first time doing a treatment ore kore eta amar prothom bar treatment korate like i've practiced here at be well ami be well onek bar practice korchi but it's my first time doing it in the village oi grabe eta prothom bar kora and i'm nervous amar khub khub bhito shankotto sometimes one bar well there's two ways i could do it I could pray. Say, Lord, Lord, please help me to do my best for you. And I might be nervous. But I will smile. I'll encourage the person. I'll talk to them kindly. I'll explain to them the things that I know. I'll pray with them. And um, encourage them. Sister, you will get better. God is powerful. He will bless these treatments. He's given us so many wonderful ways to treat sickness. And the sister will be like, oh, wow. Do you, does that sound like a good way to do it? 
Now here's the other way I could do it. Oh, I, I'm so sorry, Auntie. I, I haven't ever done this before. I, I hope I do it right. I, I hope it works. If not, we'll try again, okay? Does that make sense? You see? Like, I might do the exact same treatment. But in the first one, I'm encouraging them with hope. The second one, they're being like, oh, maybe it won't work. And it might not work. If they, their minds are not hopeful. So, the placebo effect. And we, our attitude is powerful. I'm going to have you make an introductory part of your books. Maybe it'll be about one page. And you can call it, you can call it principles of natural treatment. Um, yeah, yeah, you can write it in Bangla. Don't write it in your books right now. Write it on your in your personal notes. And later, take a time to make it very pretty and nice in your book. Like I say, so we're going to be learning a few principles. And the one I just taught you is going to be the first one. So, in simple words, it's that your attitude um, let me think how I want to say that. Like, it should be that we always have a positive, encouraging attitude when we treat people. Always have a positive and encouraging attitude. Can we write like first introduction, then this, then this one? Introduction, then this one. Yeah. <laughs> With 
تکش حضاران تکش حضاران تکش حضاران so this is something for you to practice and it's also something that you can talk to people about because you've probably seen this before some people are like, oh, I don't think I can get better. I've been this way for so many years. Teach them that their thinking has power. And also people's families need to be taught. Some people are like, yeah, I want to quit smoking. And <laughs> Okay, so some people like there's a person who wants to quit smoking. But everybody else in their family is like, oh, they've tried so many times, they never can stop. I have seen this so much here. We need to be clear with those people. And tell them, look, if you keep saying this to them all the time, and you keep discouraging them, then maybe they can't stop. But it won't be their fault, it will be yours because you've been discouraging them. Like, don't be afraid to tell people straight. Because people here treat it like a joke. They just laugh and tease and they won't stop just beating that poor person up. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Have you seen it happen? That happened with us with a, the girl who wanted to learn to read. That's not help, but something similar. Okay, So, yeah, that's an important thing. Now, something else. Um, you have to treat diseases when you first see them. I mean, you can try later, but the chance of it working decreases. Um, like Jonash has experienced this. When he had his ear infection a few months ago. And he had the infection for like a whole week. And then we started treating it with onion. And did it work? No, it did not work. He had to go to the doctor and get antibiotics. 
after it got sick, I said antibiotic was fine, sir. And then it got better. That was just fine, sir. Now, probably if the first time he felt the pain. We had started treatments. Then it probably would have worked. You understand? So you have to start at the beginning. Now maybe you'll find a person who's you know, they didn't know about it for a long time. I don't think Jonas knew about the run-in treatment for a long time either. Still try. Especially when people have no other options. Um, if you're very, very faithful with natural treatments. And God blesses those. And even if it's been a long time, they can get better. But when you're teaching, teaching people about natural remedies, teach them to use them immediately. Um, I had a, a little girl I met one time. She lived in a village in Peru, very, very far away. It took, um, yeah, it took several hours by boat down a narrow river to get to the nearest clinic. And even in that clinic, sometimes there was nobody there. There was no there often there was nobody in the at the clinic to treat. So we met this girl. She was a little girl. And she had had very, very severe diarrhea. And she had become extremely dehydrated. She looked like just a skeleton with skin on it. And her eyes were like deep down in her sockets. Like Have you seen a person like that? It's very, very sad. I knew that charcoal can help diarrhea. And I gave some to the family. <coughs> but the next day, the girl died. Um, I'm pretty sure that charcoal could have saved her life. If we had known about it weeks before. Maybe even a few days before. Like another family from Peru just texted me a few weeks ago. With a little boy who had a similar condition. Um, the picture of him, you could see his spine sticking way out, just bones, bones, bones. From dehydration from or from diarrhea chronic diarrhea and i told them to use charcoal i don't know if it was exactly that or what it was but the next day he was getting better so it works but encourage people to use them in the beginning um, so that's another principle. You don't have to write it. They can write it. What is that? To treat from the beginning. 
we can uh, choose start at the beginning same word shuru theke shuru kori shuru prothom thekei shuru kori ba shuru thekei shuru kori can you say right oh shuru thekei treatment day ba debo something else for you guys to understand about natural treatments do you know but is that they don't usually work as dramatically as a medicine. It takes more time. But in the long term, it's more effective. It's strengthening your whole body. But the the medicines are shocking your body. And it often creates lots of negative effects also. Yeah, but people are kind of used to thinking that, oh, whatever I'm given has to work right now. Most people are used to that in order for a medicine to work, I have to feel it right now, like right away. But actually our bodies, the natural, naturally our bodies need some time. So explain that to people as you're treating them. So you could write this also. That three number. Three number. That natural treatments work better in the long term. That is. Term. I need a good word for long term. Virgo Mayadi. Virgo Mayadi. Virgo Mayadi. Can you say again? Natural treatments. Natural treatments work better in the long term. Natural. But you might not feel their effect immediately. <laughs> Natural treatments work better in the long term. Here, but kid you might not feel the effect immediately. Sometimes you might. But not always. No, you just this is just for you to know. 
Oh. Not the next stuff I'm saying. What the thing that you just copied over and over that they write. अच्छा तो मरा जे तीन ता धापे धापे जीने शासन है ना ऐसे शार्वर शामिल उच्चार बनो बाब तार पर शुरू थे के ट्रीटमेंट दे तो पर ऐसे जीने शुगला लिखे रखो दीदी लच्छे दीदी मरे दीदी मरे की रूल दीदी माला नियम लच्छे नियम काफी तेज चीज़ है ओके वन मोर थिंग आई वांट टू से वी माइट ऐड टू � I'm just saying, we might add to our list over the semester. So they have one more. We belong to God. So we should use treatment methods that are approved by God. Like people who have diabetes, 
diabetics, look drogi. People they think, oh, I have to take insulin. I'm ready to let it. Insulin, I'm ready to take it. Well, they do. Yeah, insulin lag be. But kintu if they will follow God's way of living, kintu tara jodi ishor jibabe ishor er pather mane ishor jibabe amader jiban jabon korte parse, korte bolse. Jodi shei upay tara avalambon kore, they can get better. Tale tara shushte dite pare. And they won't need the insulin anymore. Tar pore ar tader insulin lagbe na because their bodies can make it themselves. Karon tader deho ekar ekar insulin bhai na. Huh. Another kind of treatment that is false is, yeah, the room treatment. Or <laughs> not just that. But, but the treatment of, there's lots of witch doctors and shamans. I was telling, I was telling, like, a skull, they take it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they, you, they say you have to tie a certain little ornament on you to keep you safe. And they put little, they put the little, like, Things on it. <laughs> yeah. Or they do all kinds of things. Um, those are not. Mala. Mala. But hey, but did you go like for it? Oh. Go like for it. Yeah, I I don't know what all they do here. I mean, But that's not trusting in God's strength. It's trusting in the double strength. That's something else that we will maybe at times have to help people understand. Can this be the fifth one? Well, it's part of the fourth one. Ah, acha. Eight. I'm. You guys, both of us. I'm. 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 You guys, if you need help remembering these things, you can write these things down in your own notes. To mother, did you there note? I go to write. Write. But the principles are in. For, these are the principles for your. Book. But the explanations I'm giving, you can write that down in your own notes. Um, the other, the other problem with those treatments, like medical doctors, medical doctor they're the things that they, the treatments that they give are supported by science. Like, they actually know what's happening in your body. That's important. But these people who are just like, oh, tie this thing here and I'll wave this thing on you or can't enchant a little thing. Like, that's not science either. Or they often say, oh, it's because you breathe bad, bad air in the cemetery. Lots of people say that. But that's not true. So that's one of the reasons they're bad. Not trustworthy. There's one more thing. Yeah, it, it can be evil spirits, but often they try to make it sound like a physical thing. Like as if the air was actually making you sick. 
स्वीकार <laughs> फिर